Hello friends, thanks for coming by. I'm Matthew Barlow and this is Barlow Barbecue. Uh, we'll, we're going to do some pulled pork with just a Weber kettle grill, some charcoal, uh, and a meat thermometer that most anyone has in their kitchen. So let's get started. Let's take a look at this Weber and see how I've got it set up. I've got two charcoal baskets there and in the middle I laid down some tin foil and that's just going to help keep the airflow coming up through both of those charcoal baskets there and it'll keep some nice radiant heat around the meat which is going to go right in the middle there. Okay so to get this fire going since we want to cook at low heat today and I'm thinking like anywhere between 250 to 275 is okay for a pork butt it can handle it so if you ride a little on the higher side that's fine I flipped this upside down because it can hold probably just about the right amount of charcoal in there you know 15 to 20 charcoal briquettes to start off with will probably be pretty good I've got the fire starter going in there and I just kinda of went around and piled up some of the charcoal around the flame just so to help that catch I'm thinking this will be ready to go in about 10 to 15 minutes. So in the meantime, let's get that pork butt ready to go. So this is my little pork butt right here. It's a Boston butt and it's barely four pounds. It does have the bone in, as you can see right in the middle there. And I've made my own rub today. I'll put the recipe in the description box below. It is a half a cup of black pepper, a quarter cup of salt, a quarter cup of paprika, half a cup of brown sugar, uh, some cayenne to taste, and chili powder. Just a, a little dash of chili powder as well. Looks like this charcoal is ready to go. So I added some unlit charcoal to both of the baskets. So when I add this charcoal on top, it's going to take a while to, to ignite the charcoal below it. So that'll just save me some time from coming out here in a little bit to add more charcoal. So I'm going to set the camera down and get that charcoal on there. So the charcoal is in. And I got a, a chunk of hickory on the uh, on this basket here. Now it's time to put the lid on and let this come up to temp a little bit before we add the pork. Okay, I've got the lid on and I arranged it in such a way so that this vent is would be kind of over where the meat is. Charcoal baskets are on either side here. And got this thermometer on my Weber. You may not have this. It's not really that accurate anyways because you're only getting kind of like the, the temperature at the lid level which will be warmer than where your meat's at on the grill. Probably by a good 30 to 40 degrees warmer. So I'm leaving the top vents open and I leave them open for the duration of the cook. I really don't mess with those much at all. Down here I've got my bottom vents open about three quarters of the way. You could even move them up to fully open as we're letting the grill come up to temp. When I hit the zone of where I'd like to be for this cook, I'm shooting for like 250 to 275 is good. Even like 300 is fine. I mean, it's a, it's a small pork butt, so it can, it can handle it. Um, but anyways, when it reaches the temp that I'd like it to be at, just go ahead and, and close it down to about quarter of the way open. All right, so right now we're just going to leave it about three quarters of the way open. And you want to give it about 10-15 minutes once you close the lid just to watch your temperature raise. It, it, you know, if, if you don't have a thermometer there, just use uh, there you go, like a little meat probe will be fine. Let's put that in there and see what that does. That's going to be hard to get an accurate reading. I 
Yeah, it's really moving up there, huh? If that's in focus. Oops. Yeah. This is moving right up there. Quite a difference than what this is showing. Oh, maybe not my much. This is already up to like almost 250. So this is looking pretty good. And so we can put the pork butt on there momentarily. Got the pork butt on. Set right in between the two charcoal baskets. And I'm going to get the lid back on here. So now that it's on, go pour yourself a beer in celebration that the meat is on and you're barbecuing. Second, you're going to want to come back out here in about an hour and just check uh, the grill temp. See where it's at. We're not using a lot of thermometers. We're just going to have to go by feel, which can be a little tricky, but it's also fun. I mean, you're barbecuing, so I'll see you about an hour. Okay, it's been about an hour, so we need to come out and check on the grill. Take your meat thermometer, just kind of hold it right in there, and let's see how it's doing. Now remember, this is not going to be the most accurate method of getting a good reading, but it's all we have today. we got to go with something. Okay, that's going good. And just for the heck of it, because I do have this thermometer here, let's take a look at that. And that's great. That's holding at 300, and that it's been holding there for about the last hour. So, so we'll come out here in another hour. We'll lift the lid and see how that pork is doing. It's 2:30, and we put that meat on about two hours ago. So it's time to take a look, see what's going on. All right, so the grill temp has definitely fallen quite a bit, about 50 degrees. Let's take a look, see how it's doing. It is looking good. But notice our charcoal baskets here. Remember, let me lift up this grate here. Yeah, the charcoal in that's about spent. The charcoal in this one is, is about the same too. So remember we added those unlit charcoal briquettes right in the basket before we put the lit ones on top. And so we did that because I knew that it was going to keep its momentum over time and that's really important. We want to keep circulating some new charcoal in here right to keep that momentum going. That's what's really important. So. I'm going to add some more charcoal to these. I've got some apple cider vinegar that I'm going to spray on here. And since it's been a couple hours, I want to take get the temperature of this, see where it's at. Shows 150 there, 149. Gotta be careful not to hit the bone. 141, okay, 142. So it's good. So I'm gonna get the lid back on this now and we'll check back in another hour and see where it's at. All right, it's been three hours since the pork has been on. It's 3.30 right now. And let's look at this grill temp. So it's holding pretty good. 
Remember, this temperature is probably 30 degrees warmer than what's at the grill level. So we're holding pretty good. Well, let's open it up and see what's going on. It's looking really good. So some of the charcoal we added an hour ago is just now getting lit, as you can see. And checking over there on the other side. I'm going to add some more charcoal because I want to keep that momentum going. And looking at this little guy right here, you know, he's looking pretty good. We'll give him a quick spray, we'll check the temperature, and then get the lid back on there. So at three hours, this is showing about 163, not about, that's what it is reading, 163. And we're shooting for a temperature of 200 degrees, 195 to 200 degrees, but I'll be happy with 200. I'm thinking I might wrap this and some foil to kick it through a little bit of a stall that it might be going through. Okay, I wrapped the pork butt in tin foil, did a double wrap on that, set it back on the grill. Let's get the lid back on. And let's check back again in an hour to see how it's doing. We're gonna hope that now that it's wrapped, it's gonna push through its stall. And let's not forget make sure let's double check down here to make sure our vents are open see you soon so it's been two hours since I wrapped the pork and uh, let's see how the grills doing Whoop. the grill temp according to this has fallen pretty low there we go yeah, that's low. So again, it's been a couple hours. So what I'm going to do is, let's take a temperature of this pork. I'm telling you what, it smells really good. So I opened up this pork to get a reading, get some temperature. Boy, look at that, it's pulling away from the bone there. I'm telling you, it feels really tender. Look at that, 199, 201, 202, wow. All right, this pork, oh my goodness, is just, it feels so good. Look at that, boom. Two hours after the wrap, that really pushed it through. So this pork is done. All right, it's been 30 minutes since I took the pork butt off the grill. Cheers. And look at all that juice. So we want to save the juice as best as we can. It's going to be a little tricky to get it off of here onto the platter. That's the, the puppy. much we can just tear right into this look at that effortless I'm not even just coming right across <laughs> there's no effort on my part I could smell this right now that's, that's why the dog's going crazy it's just coming right across Coming right off. Set that to the side. This beautiful. Look at the smoke ring on here. I don't know if you can you can see, but yeah, Taco wants some. All right, I can't resist. Let's try a little piece. Well, that's pretty hot. Let's try this piece. This is good. Mm. That's really good. Okay, let's talk about today's cook. The most important things that you have are your attention 
and your intuition. And intuition you can only develop after doing it over and over and over again. You know, so you may not start right away with that. Um, but if you start with being present, you know, checking your grill temp, uh, checking the charcoal level, checking your meat temp, you know, every hour, going out there every 30 minutes just to get a feel for how the grill feels, right? You may not have a digital thermometer at your disposal, um, but just having that presence of mind to go out there and check on it um, consistently throughout the cook makes a huge difference and I really believe that that's all you need to make really good barbecue. Listen, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and if you have any questions about the cook, just leave those in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those questions. We'll see you soon.